Good morning, tubers. How are y'all doing? I am. It has been, uh, holy cow, where do I start? Okay. <clears throat> As a lot of y'all know, I've been selling stuff. I'm planning to, in fact, I've sold the whole house here. And out in my driveway, I have stuff that sat out for sale. I had a little yard sale thing going. Um, I had somebody actually buy the ugly stepsister, although I haven't heard from them, and I'm still waiting for him to come pick it up. His name was Josh. Josh, if you're out there, get in touch with me, buddy, because, well, for one thing, my computer crashed, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I loaded that trailer right over there uh, full of stuff, and when I say stuff, it was mostly stuff from in the house. I had, you know, Honey Baby had stuff in her sewing room, and I had a, a whole banjo room uh at one time i had a basement full of banjo stuff and i was making banjos and repairing banjos and rebuilding banjos and and all of that and then in quite a quick exchange of life happenings i had to get out of there and i don't want to go into detail but i think some of y'all have had things happen in your life it meant you had to get out of some place and all that stuff went up in the attic up there um all that banjo stuff just kind of got shoved up in there because i was i basically bought this house in a condemned condition and what i mean by that it wasn't actually condemned but everybody in the in the town told me that the house wasn't worth saving it was too far gone well you know me you tell me i can't do something and by golly that's exactly what i'm gonna do so i moved into the house there was no electricity there was no heat uh, the basement was flooded the sills had washed out from under the front of it i moved in with a a, a cot and a propane heater and a generator and started living here and rebuilding the house. And that didn't leave me a lot of time to mess around with banjos. I've done some banjo stuff along the way, but not to the point that I was doing when I didn't have a whole house to try and restore. So anyway, let me see who's talking to me. Pirate Life, hey Eric, how you doing buddy? Um, so anyway, uh, we sold this house now, we got the place down in Georgia and um, I loaded that trailer up with banjo stuff. I was amazed at how much banjo stuff I had pieces and parts and everything you can imagine necks and pots and all kind of stuff <clears throat> and banjos and broken banjos and all that honey baby loaded up stuff from the sewing room we basically sold all the furniture and i sold a lot of my heavier mechanical stuff like air compressor and my big lincoln arc welder and all that anyway we put what wasn't tools and stuff in here and the thing was so heavy that the Literally, the trailer sat down on the axle. So I told Honey Baby, I said, you know, I'm gonna have to make an extra trip. So I unloaded about half of what was in the trailer. I'm gonna walk in here and uh, and let you look with me at what is sitting behind me. So all this stuff that was in the trailer came out so that I could get the trailer light enough so that I could drive it down there and have some springs. I also put 10 ply tires on it. I hauled it with Honey Baby's uh, Forerunner rather than my truck just because I felt like it was a better vehicle for hauling something like that. So all of that is background. Oh, I, and I, I forgot this part. I drove straight through to Georgia sleeping somewhere between a half an hour and an hour at a time uh, on the way down. When I got down there, I opened up my computer and it was dead. My laptop that I've been using for years, dead, just dead. All the videos I had in it were gone. All the, I couldn't even get into it. I couldn't send an email, nothing. I had nothing <sighs> except my phone. And, and because I had my phone, I was able to communicate with Honey Baby a little bit. I went to buy a new one, and the new ones aren't going to be available for another two weeks because of the COVID and everything being backed up and all that. So, for the next two weeks, I'm going to be winging it. Uh, I've got a, a an old computer of Honey Babes that I can't make videos on because it doesn't have enough RAM power to make a video. So, you may be just stuck with me doing live videos every morning for the next two weeks. And I don't know if you can stand that or not. You might want to go ahead and commit suicide right now just so you don't have to live with all that drama. Or you might decide to stick with me through this like you've stuck with me through everything else. So, the next phase of this journey is all of this stuff that's behind me is going in that trailer 
I'm going to hook it to that Dodge truck out there. I've already got the engine, the 350 engine in that. All these tools you see on the wall back there, all of those are going to go in the truck. My little Lincoln welder over here, my Henrob 9000 or whatever it is, the cutting torch going in there. But I'm not taking big old heavy stuff because... I can only make so many trips to Georgia and, and the more weight I carry, the, the harder it is. So my plan for now, right now, starting right now is this. Uh, I'm gonna load the trailer again. Uh, I didn't even mention Rusty, but Rusty Acres down in Florida is even as we speak, building a trailer and he's going to come up here and his plan is he's gonna come up here. Hey Green. and. Um, He's going to load both Crosleys and all the Crosley engines on his trailer. And then me and him are going to run back down south together, uh, back to my place. And what we're planning to do is I've been talking to One Lonely Farmer, or, and uh, we plan to run from here to One Lonely Farmer's place, spend the night with him, hang out and have some fun, and then jump back in the vehicles and the trucks and uh, scoot down to my place. And he'll probably spend the night down there. And then I'll leave the Dodge truck in the trailer there. Uh, Josh, my, my son, my boy Josh, Joshua Peak, famous, uh, famous Joshua Peak podcaster, is going to be coming up here because uh, Honey Babe's grandson, Brandon's, uh, getting married up here. So I'm going to catch a ride with him, and he's going to pull my other flatbed trailer back up here, and we're going to put the rat rod on that trailer and then when me and honey baby go home we'll haul it home with her car now, i forgot the rat rod trailer and i should talk about it because it's part of all this uh yes the rat rod trailer is going home with me and and we're gonna uh see there's the crosley right there that rusty's gonna come get and the other crosley that rusty's gonna come get over there and then there's this rat rod trailer is over here and it's gonna go in the back of this truck. Oh, and there's my John Deere tractor. I think Josh is gonna help me haul it home uh, in the back of his truck when he goes back from the wedding. So this is turning into a longer video than I wanted to, but you know, there's a lot going on in my life. I mean, dang, gone. It's, let me tell you about coming across the George Washington Bridge in New York City. I, I, I don't even know if I wanna get started on that. I, I decided, 40 years ago, I would never do that again. And somebody said, well, it's not as bad as it used to be. Well, that wasn't true. Maybe they meant the ride up wasn't as bad as it used to be because it used to be, if you was driving a 15-speed overdrive with a 350 come along in it, every time you get up by 13th gear, you'd have to start down downshifting again because you had to stop and pay another toll. And that was horrible on the New Jersey Turnpike. Well, at least they've done away with that. They got that easy pass thing going. But anyway... I'm out of breath, I ain't slept much, and I'm chitter-chattering away out here, and I still ain't, I still ain't said everything I need to say, so I, maybe it's a good time just to stop talking, but I didn't want you to be having, I, want, I didn't want you to get up in the morning and say, where's our peak? He's not making a video, so yeah, I'm not making a video because my computer crashed. That's probably the biggest reason, and I've been really busy. So, to sum up, you know, for me, summing up is like trying to sort all the mo marbles just after they fell on the floor. Um, boy, look at that sky. Hang on a second. Just look at that. <laughs> you believe they ain't a God? Can you look at a sky like that and say, eh, ain't no God? I mean, that's just, come on. Anyway, okay, I'm, stop I'm really going to stop talking, I think. Although I'm enjoying this a lot, I could just stand out here and we could just chitter-chatter away. And, ooh, look up there. Look at that sky. Just look at it! Just look at it! Just look at it! <laughs> Wee! Also, also, I put a, I put a CB radio in a Dodge truck, and I ordered, I actually ordered two Cobra 29s, because I'm going to put one in Rusty's truck. That way, when we go back down the road, we can chitter-chatter on the radio. Hey, 10-4, what's going on there, Roger Dodger? Come on, get right back to me, Rusty Acres. I know you're out there somewhere. Come back. Or... <laughs> oh, it's going to be a world of fun. So, all right. Y'all ready for me to quit talking now, or you want me to just stay out here and keep chitter-chattering? I can do it, you know. I can just stand here and talk till, till the cows come home. 
not that I got cows, but yeah, see, here's the back room, and oh yeah, there's this refrigerator over here, the Crosley. Yeah, Rusty's gonna take that home. And uh, what else? The house is almost empty. Uh, I, I'll take y'all in the house. We can look around. I, I don't want to talk in there. I don't want to wake up Honey Baby. So I'll stop. Okay? How do you how do you stop? I love every one of you. I appreciate you putting up with me in spite of everything. And I'm going to end this now. Y'all have a nice day. And who knows what you'll see on here tomorrow morning. You just never know.